Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a review of another gaming headset, and this one is the latest and greatest from a company by the name of Rocket, or Rocket, or some people call them Rocat. There's apparently more debate regarding how you actually pronounce the name, but I believe it's Rocat. So either way, whatever, it's fine. That's not the moral of the story. The moral of the story is it's a pretty decent gaming headset. $159 just came out. It's got software that you can enhance things like the pickup for listening to voices, for 3D audio, all that great jazz, adjust the microphone volume, and it's really lightweight and comfortable, which is nice if you're going to be playing games for a long time. There are lots of pros, lots of cons. We're going to talk about it in this video, but before we get into that, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. Now let's take a look at the Rocket Sin Pro Air. And here we have the Rocket Sin Pro Air. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is actual wearing the things. You want to know what they're like to wear. I mean, if you're going to wear these for a long time, you're going to invest $150. It ought to be a top-notch experience, something that's comfortable, good build quality, lightweight, and produces good sound. Hey, that's what we all want, right? And then some cool LED lights go along with it. So when you look at them, they're pretty slim, pretty low profile. They have these little gliding areas up here that allow you to adjust the height for the actual earpieces when you put them on. Uh, it's nice, it's smooth, it doesn't have any of those clicky or poppy noises, none of that stuff. And one thing that's really crazy about these, you can bend the heck out of them. And, I mean, that's cool. They're very durable, I, I think. It's made entirely out of plastic, at least as far as the frame goes. It has 50 millimeter drivers, and it has this mesh material that it uses for the earpieces and also the headband. The headband is less of a concern. When it comes to the earpieces, I don't know why they went this route. Because for one, you can't replace them. You can't, you can't change them out. So one thing we know about mesh, whenever it comes to earbuds and, well, headphones really, is that they like to absorb sweat and smells and everything else that goes along with it. If you can't replace them, I think over time these are gonna get kinda uh. And it's not as comfortable as the leather. Now you don't get that moisture and the sweat and the condensation. Some of them that have like the pleather and the leather that's on them, they really do over time, you know, they, they get hot, they make you feel all sweaty around your ears. You don't have that problem with these. It's actually really nice. Now it's not the softest material in the world either. When you're wearing it on your head, when you've got this on your ears, you can kind of feel it. And after you kind of get past the break-in period, play them for a day or two, you don't really notice it. It kind of goes away. But definitely like the first hour or two you put these things on, you're going to feel it. And, you know, it's uh, good, bad, or indifferent, I guess. But I think they could have gone a different route, especially since you can't change them out. And this is like an issue with the AirPods Pro Max. People have complained about that. They have very similar style. You know, this cloth material for the, for the ear cups that go over your ears, those you can replace. These you cannot. So... Putting them on, they're very lightweight, they're very comfortable, easy to adjust, so you don't have any problems with that. They look nice, you don't look like a dork when you're wearing them. Also a cool thing when it comes to gaming headphones. And then they've got the lights that are on here as well. Now, this has been a departure from the normal Rocket setup. Normally you use the Swarm app, so if you sit down, you plug these in, you try to get them set up with the Swarm app, it's not going to work. They have a new app called the Neon app. And what that does is allow you to set it up. You go to the Rocket website, you download it, you set it up. I think maybe they're going to start migrating that over there later. I saw some additional options when I was clicking on it, and it looks like those are going to be provided support for later. Right now, I think these are the first ones. And I actually kind of like it better. It's very straightforward, very easy to use. You can, you can adjust things. You can turn on the three sound, the spatiality, so you can hear stuff around different places. Uh, enhance the pickup for voices when you're talking to people. That's super important because if you're playing a game, you want to be able to hear people. That really is kind of important when you're playing games. You need to be able to communicate with your friends or your party, your squad, or your, whatever you call it. You know, whoever you're going to play with, you need to hear them. And they need to hear you. There is, there is a microphone on here. Microphone pickup is good. One cool thing about it, whenever you flip it up, it turns it off. When you flip it down, it turns it on. And you can hear the little noise. So that's cool. If you put it here, it's off. If you put it here, it's off. It's very easy to take this off. And there's little notches on here. Just know when you install it, it needs to be straight up, and then you can flop it down and you can use it. Pickup is fine. 
I, I don't have any issues with it. People could hear me. They said, yeah, you sound good, bro. So I said, okay, cool. So I think it's perfectly fine. You're not going to be winning any awards here. It's not going to be the same as a, as a studio mic, a condenser mic, any of that stuff. This is straight up for communication. Does it sound bad? No, it sounds perfectly fine. I think it's balanced. I think it fits the sound profile well. Now, as far as comfortability, you can wear them for a long time. No problem. They're rated for up to 24 hours for battery life. You're likely not going to get that. Like if you play your games on like 50% volume and you have a lot of the dynamic stuff turned off and you're not really talking to people, you might can squeak out 24 hours. You're going to get less than that, but I think it's good for an entire day gaming session. Once you get done, just put it on the charger. You know, plug it into the USB-C when you get done for the day and you're good. It's got a USB-C connector on the bottom. You got the power button there. Over here on the left-hand side, that's where the primary controls are. This is where you adjust the volume for the headphones. And then over on the right-hand side, you've also got a little adjustment knob as well, and that's for the microphone. Straightforward, simple, easy to use. Once you get them set up, it does require... It's not the simplest to set up. I mean, I, it is. It comes with everything you need. It comes with a USB Type-A to Type-C cable. It also has a USB adapter in there to convert it from USB Type-A to USB-C. So you can plug it into pretty much whatever. You have to plug it in to set it up and then go through some things, but it has the typical Rockhead USB dongle, 2.4 gigahertz, no problem. It doesn't have the greatest range in the world. And some people, yeah, that's cool. Some people say, well, that's a problem. You're using this for a gaming headset at your computer. You're not really gonna be walking off into the kitchen, talking to your buddies 50 feet away, heating up some Hot Pockets while you're wearing these headphones. I wouldn't do that. If you do that, these are not the headphones for you. I'm just gonna tell you right now, once you get that far distance, 20, 30, 40, 50 feet away, it ain't going to work. So if you use it in your office, in your studio, in your gaming area, in your living room, as long as you're within about 30 feet or less, you shouldn't have too many problems. But these are not the best when it comes to long range. The sound profile, pretty darn good. I really enjoy it. You can hear things really well. You can hear footsteps. You can hear guns reloading. You can hear people. You can hear your, your teammates talking to you. And it's a very immersive experience. I really enjoy playing with these. I like that they're super lightweight. They're only just slightly over 300 grams. And I'm going to go into a little bit of a chemistry story here real quick. And this is the only reason I remember this. Because <laughs> you're probably like, well, how do you know what grams are to pounds? When I was in chemistry, one of the things we learned was, there, was there's 454 grams in a pound. So I, that's, I remembered that for like 22 years. <laughs> so every time I see it, I'm like, okay, cool. I know what that is. So just over 300 grams it is probably about you know two thirds of a pound, whatever that is. I'm just doing basic math in my head. Probably got it wrong, whatever. It's lightweight, it's under a pound. You can wear them for a long time. You don't get head fatigue, you don't get ear fatigue. And that's really important. If you like to binge your games, if you like to play for a long period of time, then these are a good headset for that. So if you like good sounding headphones where you can hear people, you can hear the action, you can listen to what's going on. They're actually pretty decent for music as well. One thing you need to do though, you absolutely have to install that Neon app. If you don't, they don't sound that great. You can't fine tune them. You can't adjust the equalizer. You can't change the lights. You can't turn on any of this stuff like enhanced voices, 3D sound, all those things. So make sure you absolutely, day one, as soon as you set it up, set up the Neon app, go in and configure it. Now, once you do that, it works really well. And then it also has the AMO lighting. So if you have other AMO stuff, it should sync with that. And then you get these lights with the different effects on the back. It's got like this honeycomb thing. I believe it's like the Kone or the Cone Air, however people pronounce it. Maybe I'm a Neanderthal. I don't know. I call it Kone. Whatever. Cone, Kone. These guys have really hard problems with names. Like, I love them. I love their products. These are tuned by Turtle Beach. Really good headset. When they come to their names, some of them... Anyway, so if you've seen that mouse or you have it, you're familiar with this honeycomb pattern kind of underneath the headset. And it's only for this portion right here. You get the honeycomb effect here, and then on the back, it's just solid. But I think it's good. They're not big. They're not like big blaring lights that really like show off in the darkness, and they like illuminate your whole room. Some of these guys get really crazy when it comes to their headsets and their lighting. So I like the subtle lighting on here. It doesn't drain too much of the battery because it's, well, there's not a whole lot of it there. And you get that nice little honeycomb pattern as well. One thing I really hate about these is they look like they get filthy. And I had to clean these off before I use them and you don't even touch them all the time, but they pick up oils and fingerprints and all that stuff like really bad. So you're gonna have to keep like a microfiber cloth around. I use these good old, let me grab one here. These Zeiss lens wipes. I use these for my phones all the time. I use that on here. I'm sure the alcohol is probably not good for the plastic long-term. Probably ought to just use like a damp or wet rag or something like that. Just kind of wipe it off. But yeah, they start to look filthy really easily. So the only real dings I have 
is that. I don't like that. I don't like this mesh material. I don't like that you can't replace the ear cups. Otherwise, I think they're good for playing games. They're, they're even good for listening to music. You can set up the equalizer in there as well, so that's nice. Uh, if you're on your computer and you switch back and forth between using it for gaming, for regular desktop work, it's something that's a nice, enjoyable headset you can use kind of as a multi-purpose all day long. It doesn't really work with the Xbox. It's not advertised to work with consoles, but it will work with the PlayStation or the Nintendo Switch. You can plug in the dongle and it'll work that way. The Elo Airs, I used to do that with all the time as well. So, But you're not going to get any of the special stuff. It's not going to have the 3D audio, not going to be able to have any of the enhancements. It's just a straight up headset. And as a straight up headset, it's not the greatest in the world. You have to use that Neon app. And the Neon app is really what takes it to the next level. So do I think it's worth 149 bucks? Only because they're wireless. Like if these were wired, I would expect them to be about $100. I kind of wish they had a wired version, but hey, I get it. They, everyone wants wireless nowadays. But when it comes to wireless and it comes to lightweight, these are probably the best that I've used so far. I really like how comfortable they are for long-term wear. It's, yeah, I hate wearing heavy headsets. It really bothers my neck. Uh, and get a lot of head fatigue and things like that. So these guys right here, lightweight, really nice and enjoyable to wear. They look nice. They're slimline. You get the cool feature to rotate the microphone up and out of the way. You get the LED lights. You get the software enhancement so you can fine tune it and set it up the way you want. And really, I think they did a good job. I really do like the stuff that Rock Hat makes. I've reviewed a lot of their stuff lately. Their mice, their keyboards, their headsets. And this right here is a solid quality product from them. I think if you're in the market for a good, really dependable, high quality headset, I think this is going to be fine. Yeah, there are other ones out there. You can look at those as well. But at 150 bucks, with what these bring to the table and with how lightweight they are, with the good battery life and the other enhancements, I think they're worth the price tag. So if you're interested, take a look at them. You can pick them up. There's a link down in the description below where you can check those out. And that's all I got. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. And as always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you guys next time.